Hey Rap Bags, it's another list video this week. Top five most useless items in Grounded. The worst items, the items that you never craft or really don't like using. Also, quick shout out on my community tab this week. I want your Easter eggs, the references to the movies, other games and more. Let me know and I'll give you credit as I work on the next video. Let's go though, the top five most useless items in Grounded, voted by you. Number five, with 7% of the vote and 3,000 votes total, is the repair tool. For some reason you guys don't like repairing your bases, you guys voted for this as number five. And I think I've got an idea why. It does take up a slot in your backpack and you rarely use it nowadays. With the nerfs they've applied to base raiding, basically making it a feature that you won't really have too much trouble with going forward, you're not often going to be getting it out. Given resources it crafts, and as I said, that slot in your backpack, I can see why some people resent having it. But surely it deserves just to sit in the box close to your base and you only get it or use it when you need to. Maybe you'd feel better if it could actually do some sort of attack or damage, however small, against creatures. So yeah, I still think it's got more use. I don't think it deserves to be on this list, but that's what you guys suggested. So that's why it's number five. Number four and three was a tie break at 13% each. I'm going with number four and that's the slime mold torches. They run out super super quick and although it doesn't take often much resources to craft it's still a pain in the butt that you're going to need to take a whole bunch of them to really go through at least one anthill. So they run out pretty quickly and I can see why people don't want to have to carry 10 of them or have to craft so much of them to carry around but they still give a lot more light than the slime lantern. They do work underwater unlike regular torches but since there's so many different ways that you can light the path forward, I guess that's why you voted it as the most useless. Could they be made better? What if you could actually place some of the mold lanterns around, even in caves, and they would maybe disappear after a day or so? That could be a really good compromise to go ahead and make them more useful. Number three is Fists, with again 13% of the vote. I nearly didn't put this in because technically it's not an item, but I get where you guys are coming from. You just feel like it's undercooked and it's not really viable to go around using an unarmed combat build. Given that you need a whole bunch of different armors and food types to keep your stamina up to take out any insects using just your fists, it's always the worst option unless you're just punching an aphid. They do get a bit more of a boost when you equip Little Fist, but you really do need to get it to level 3 before you really see the benefits. And even then, it's pretty marginal. I don't see too much of a massive improvement, considering how many creatures you've got to kill to get that level 3 mutation. Level 1, of course, you need to kill 40 creatures with your bare hands. Level 2, 100. And level 3, 200, just to get maybe a 10% increase in attack damage. And it's not even a guaranteed attack damage bonus. It's 25% chance at level 1, 50% chance at level 2, and 75% chance at level 3 that you can do unlimited amount of times of bonus damage until the combat ends. Of course, adding Truffle Tussle to it does make it a bit more worthwhile, and certainly I'm hoping in the future we'll see some sort of armors that really take more advantage of this, or again, something more specific weapons like the Ant Gloves or the Berry Gloves. These were in the game files from way back, way back when, but we've never seen them iterated on or any hint that they'll be coming in as an actual weapon in the future. But with the Truffle Tussle, you have got more of a chance of obviously causing an explosion, doing even more damage. So it's probably the only viable method really, and making sure you've got a good armor set that's going to give you as maximum stamina as possible. So technically not an item, but I get it. You want it to be more powerful. You want it to either be more concrete, the damage that you deal, or it's bigger. Or certainly, if they do add something like the boxing gloves, it can stack with the mutations that make unarmed combat a viable method. Number two, with 18% of the vote, it is bait. These things are pretty much useless. It's so it seems, maybe you're just using it wrong. Now, to be fair, it would be a hot lot more useful if they actually worked whenever you got in combat with a creature. If you threw one of these and it did distract them enough that you could just run away. But if you are in combat, they'll pretty much ignore it and just try and chump on you. What you're meant to do is use them to get creatures away from somewhere that you're trying to get to. Maybe it's a milk motor, maybe it's trying to just get to a base entrance because a wolf spider has wandered too close. It does only work on certain creatures and bugs as well, mostly the bigger spiders like the wolf spiders and of course Trudy the fish, plus water spiders too. But yeah, if they want to improve this in the future, it'd be great if it did actually work while in combat. 
or if maybe in future we ever do get a chance to tame creatures maybe it can be more useful for that in putting them inside traps because we have to tame it in a certain way. For sure though the way you're meant to use it is mostly for the diving bell spiders. These can really be helpful in getting them away from the entrance to some of the underground places that you need to swim to specifically in the caves near the outpost deep down where you can hopefully get the key to unlock the chest. You can see how far they will come and search out some of this bait, absolute miles. So it's definitely worth it and useful for that. Or if you want to get a bunch of them together and maybe take them out to get some parts. But the same problems there, that as soon as you get a bit too close, they will absolutely home in on you, no matter how many you throw to try and get them away. And if you're stupid enough to get caught by the fish, maybe you deserve it. You can see it for absolute miles away. It does generally work, it will head towards it but it will only give you a few vital seconds to hopefully get to safety. So there we go, you guys voted it number two, 18% of the vote. Which means that number one, miles ahead of everything else, is the Shinobi Sneeze, 48%. I nearly put Pollen as a separate one, but I figure since Pollen is so fundamental to this item, and Pollen's pretty useless as well, it'd be okay if we just talked about the Shinobi Sneeze. But yes, it is a useful item, when you remember to use it but do you really want to be using up your precious storage space with one of these it does work if you've got creatures like mosquitoes hounding you and you just want to get away then it will absolutely put them off enough for you to run away and do your own business but with more pollen needed now for your turret gun and i guess still just not feeling that op when using it that's why so many of you vote it as maybe the most useless it does also reduce your attack damage and it's meant to give you the pen pinch debuff as well. So maybe if it gave you a bit prolonged assassin skill, maybe still give you the debuffs, but actually when you use it, you've got 30 seconds to go ahead and sneak past whatever bugs or creatures you wanted to. Or maybe they'll upgrade it to a level 2 version where that will give us that extra time. Let me know in the comments how you would improve any of the top five worst items in Grounded. And as always, go and check out the rest of the guides and I'll be back for more top fives. I guess now when 1.0 is here, we're going to do them all over again with all the new stuff that's incoming. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you right back for more Grounded content very soon.